create our lightning strike effect, we'll create just one mono behavior um, and we'll give it some fields that are exposed in the inspector. On enable, we'll get references to our audio source for our thunderclap sound and our light for the lightning. Then we'll start a coroutine that will run as long as the behavior is enabled. At the start of the coroutine, we'll do a one-time calculation for the thunder delay, which will simulate how far the player is from the lightning strikes. For each iteration of the while loop, we'll wait a random amount of time uh, for the next strike to begin. And then we'll choose a random position for the strike to be performed at. I omitted my code for this because it's specific to my game. We'll also invoke a function that plays our thunderclap sound with the thunder delay that we calculated above. By adding a camera shake, we'll give the lightning strike some more impact. Then we choose a random number of flashes for the strike to have and iterate over that many flashes, minus one. Each iteration um, of the flash will start with the light being on and then we'll sleep a random number of frames. Then we'll turn the light off and sleep another random number of frames. For the final lightning flash, we'll turn the light back on and then use a tweening library to slowly turn the intensity of the light down to zero over time. Once that's done, our while loop will return back to the top and wait for the next strike to begin. Here are the settings that I use for my lightning strikes. My strikes only happen between every 10 and 30 seconds, and my final strike fades out over one second using an ease out quad function.